Demi Lolua Adeshino is a radio presenter, author, and a seasoned British curriculum teacher and consultant with more than a decade old experience. She is the host of the weekly Readland Reading Adventure. Demi Lolua cut her tooth as a teacher while working with other curriculums in the Nigerian system of education. The behavioral patterns of children over the years laced with the rich African culture inspired her works with fun and drama. She loves children and believes every child is a star waiting for a moment of history. Please welcome Temi Lulua Adeshino for a book reading at the 2021 Akada Children's Book Festival. In this segment, I'll be reading to you from my book, Risi Recycle, illustrated by Francis Adishina. My name is Temi Lulu Adishina. Welcome to Akada Children's Book Festival 2021. I'm the author of this fantastic book here, titled Risi Recycle, The Doors Been Girl. The book is written by Temilolu Adeshino and illustrated by Francis Adeshino. 11 year old Risi Ray was a day dreamer. She would sit and daydream about things she didn't have but wished she had. Like living in a neat, beautiful house and attending a big, nice school. Risi yelled Grandma Daniels, but Risi did not hear. Risi cried Amina, but Risi did not hear. Splash! Went a cup of water on her head. Risi felt that. She jumped off the big tire that lay half in, half out of a dirty stream that flowed right by the shed she lived and glared. Amina, what was that for? Grandma Daniels called for you, Afro girl. She did not answer. I called you too, but you didn't answer. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I was busy, Risi said. Busy doing nothing, just daydreaming for nothing. I'm in a snake. Risi, a frail voice called out again. I have to go, Risi said. She dashed towards the shabby little plank house. She lived in with Grandma Daniels. I'm here, mommy. What do you want? She asked, kneeling beside a thin mattress. Ah! <laughs> Coughing again. Bring my abo. My herbal brew, Grandma Daniels instructed. Oluwari Simi Funre Daniels was an orphan. Grandma Daniels had picked her off the streets and she had lived with her since then. Now Grandma Daniels was old and had bad cough that disturbed her all the time. She couldn't even fry a cara to sell anymore. Every day, Grandma drank a goo, a herbal brew to help her get better. But with the polluted hair and the dust and dirt in the dump, she didn't get better. Unlike most of the people who lived in the dustbin estate, Risi and her grandmother were quite neat. They never littered, littered, littered their surroundings. Stop! You should use the dustbin, Risi would tell anyone who wouldn't use the dustbins as they should. Dustbin girl, leave us alone. They would reply. It wasn't long before they started calling her dustbin girl. Risi didn't join when other children played in the evenings. Boju, bo, ju. That's Yoruba term for hide and seek. They sang as they laughed and played while the night drew near. Does being girl, does being girl, come and play. Not today, my grandma needs me. This was her usual reply. She would then go to her plank house to doodle as she did it. Chrissy had stopped school to take care of grandma. The local public school was not far away from her house, and she could hear the pupils and teachers from her house. This morning, too, she could hear the teacher's voice clearly. What do you do to protect the environment? Reduce, reuse, recycle, the children chanted. Louder, said the teacher. 
reduce the children responded soon they began to sing and it sounded like the nursery rhyme mary had a little lamb but the kids seemed to be saying something else it was the chant from earlier and the song was reduce reuse recycle 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 reduce reuse recycle waste is not waste still is wasted missy hmm. loved the song and she taught her friend that afternoon on their way to the chemist shop they spied a crowd of all lookers struggling to read a poster and the poster read Reduce, reuse, recycle, the three R's. Gather a truckload of plastic bottles, a truckload of paper and cartons, a truckload of metal scraps and tins, two sacks of plastic bags, and pure water sachets. Side attraction, you can be a recycle king or queen. Eligibility, you have to be between seven and 14 years. I've got it, cried Risi. Got what? Ask Damina. Chrissy turned to her friend. How to earn some cool money to finally get grandma proper treatment? Damina did not look convinced. You won't win, cried Bans with the big fat I will, shouted another tall thin boy. You just wait and see. I will find a way, receive out. On Monday, Risi was excited. She ran excitedly all the way to Baba Benji's grocery shop. But getting there, her day became like a wire. Like a parachute, like a pendulum. They sent her on errand, fetching buckets and buying food. At the end of the day, Baba Benji and Mama Benji gave her five small empty cartons to take home. On our way home, Bantu and his friends, the bully gang, were chanting, Does being girl you cannot win? She ignored them. On Tuesday, I was cautious. She walked nervously to Yasidika's cafeteria. The unfriendly woman beared at it like a hyena. <laughs> and immediately, Missy set to walk like a ping pong ball, pam, 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 like a swivel chair. And the Mama City car just stood watching her movement all about like a hawk. By the end of the day in the evening, the food seller just gave her 20 plastic bottles. Take home. Chrissy was exhausted on Wednesday. She stayed at Abu the Suya seller store, picking plastic bags and empty sachets of water, littering his store. In return, she got some few sachets of water. On Thursday, Amina, her friend, you know her tight friend, came with some other friends to help Rissi pick empty bottles as he see Clara, the hairdresser's place. In return, they sent them back and forth. The customers, they sent them all about the shop. On Friday, Rissi alone walked tiredly to Yalago, the harbor concussion seller. And she spent the whole day filling bottles with roots and bags as Yalago told her their local names. On Saturday morning, Rissi braved up and took her friends to a beautiful estate. Here is a stack of empty cans, Rissi cried Amina. Oh, look at some old school books and bags, cried Ali. We can put this to good use. Hmm. But at the end of the day, suddenly there was a low menacing growl from a nearby fence. Ram! The children screamed and threw away their treasures, running for their dear lives as a huge brown dog jumped over the low fence. That same evening, Missy looked at how much work she had put in and how much, how little she got back. She gave up. That same night, Grandma Daniels listened to Missy's tales of woes with a kind smile as she stroked Missy's tangled afro. When she had finished speaking, Grandma called her over and hugged her. 
You are not a waste, my dear daughter, till you give up. Waste is not waste. Waste is not waste till it's wasted. After what she prayed with her, and that night, we see dreamt that she and grandma leaped on a mighty white dove. Dove. And the dove flapped its wings as fast as it could sweep in and twirl in the clouds as they escaped, they escaped into this luxury dream city of rest and safety. On Sunday morning, Risire, Risire, Risire stared as grandma shook her awake. Your friends are outside, grandma said. Outside, a strange sight greeted her. The entire group of mean boys and girls were right in front of their bank shed. Risi was scared. A huge girl as large as a gorilla stepped forward. What happened? Asked Grandma Daniels from the doorway. The huge girl soon introduced herself. I am Gola. Some people call me gorilla, and this is my territory. My team and I have heard about you. We want to help you win. The mean boys and girls put away their mischievous ways. And within a week, they had an impressive collection. While Risi worked on designing a remarkable dustbin made from plastic bottles and bottle covers, just in time to have a valid entry, the only thing left was to wait for the awards day. And finally, on the day of the awards, hmm, for teamwork, the winner of the 100,000 Naira cash per truck is, is, shh, the whole hall was silent. Everyone was waiting for their names. Banso and his friends did like this. They already stood up. Winner, oh, oh, oh. they were singing. Miss Siri was afraid, she was shivering. Suddenly, for teamwork, the winner of 100,000 Naira per truck is Oluwari Simifure Daniels and her team. The hall was suddenly filled with chants. Does being girl, does being girl, does being girl. Come again. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Hmm, that was not all. A large crowd of people waited anxiously. Suddenly, there was a loud commotion Ooh, everywhere. The governor and the commissioner of environment had made a surprise entrance. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great honor, said the governor, who had always been quite keen about the three R's and the clean state. As the governor of the state, I will also say, apart from giving the recycle king or queen title to the best that has been designed, I will give the winner a three-bedroom bungalow in a location of their choice and a scholarship to the university level. Engineer Sanusi, he called him. Give me the best design. Suddenly there was a cry from the crowd. I designed that, I designed that. And who was that? Camera snapped. Bobs flashed and everyone tried to have a glimpse of this new star. Burned to stomp down to the hall in anger. Good riddance. The dustbin was truly beautiful. Everyone gasped at its beautiful sight. It was made into the head of an elephant with bottle tops. And when you lifted the trunk, the top opened to allow the rubbish to be put in. And the next one which the engineer took out was the same design model of bottle tops was in the shape of a pelican. Everybody was thrilled and shared with her clever designs. With beans like this, everybody will want to put their rubbish into them. Everyone cheered again as Missy Ray received their, her prize money and house keys. And everyone cheered, instead of Miss Does Bean Girl, now everyone cheered what? Recycle Queen. Recycle Queen. Again? Recycle. Again, hmm. and everyone cheered as the recycled crown was placed on a afro. You want to know more? And what happened at last in Anjegule or the Dustbin Estate? Get a copy of this book. Get a, get a copy of this book. And now 
we come to the end of this book. The end. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I did. Like I did reading the story to you. <laughs> now I have questions for you. Drop the answer in the comment section. Hello children, question time. You have five seconds to answer each question. Choose carefully from the provided options. How old is Risi Re? Your time starts now. Where was Risi before Grandma brought her into a plank house? Your time starts now. Why did Uluwa Risi Mifure give up on Saturday? Your time starts now. Wow, that's amazing. And that's the story of Oluwari Misire, also called Risire, the dustbin girl. A girl who was bullied and taunted and was later crowned the recycle queen in Ajegole because she learned how to turn waste to treasure. Yeah,